I was hoping you would tell me a story, Shabbat Dinosaur. Oh, good. And okay. Love you too. It's great to see you both. Oh, I, you. Well, you know thank what? You. If you're going to be doing the story, Shabbat Dinosaur, I feel like I have a costume piece here that I can put on so that we can we can play siblings. Okay, let's do it. Hello, it's me, the Shabbat Dinosaur. I'm here to tell you all a story about dinosaurs, and it's starring me and playing the role of my sister is Lola. Hello, it's me, Lola Dinosaur. Oh, that's, that's a great costume, Lola. I love <laughs> Thank it. Thank you. Okay, so once upon a time, there was a family of dinosaurs. There was a brother, that's me, the Shabbat dinosaur, and a sister, Lola. They lived on a farm because they were farmer dinosaurs. When the brother and the sister grew up, they each built a house right next door to each other. Now, the brother and the sister each had their own farm. The sister dinosaur, me, lived on my farm with my whole family. There was my spouse dinosaur and all five of my dinosaur children. Yes, and they, they are all very, very cute. Yes. But I, the Shabbat dinosaur, I lived all alone on my farm. Now, both of us grew wheat on our farms, and when we harvested it, we kept it in big piles in each of our barns. That wheat could be used to make bread. Oh, oh, my face is falling off. Hang on. <laughs> that wheat could be make, made to blah, 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 blah. It's a wardrobe <laughs> malfunction. Don't let it throw you off, Lola. Keep going. I'm forgetting where my mouth is on my face, so it's confusing <laughs> to me. So, the wheat could be used to make bread, or cookies. Oh! Or challah! Yes. My favorite! Make challah with the wheat! Well, so, here's the story. One night, I was thinking about my sister and how she had such a big family. And so many dinosaur mouths to feed. And I thought, hmm, I'm only one dinosaur. It would only be fair for me to share my wheat with Lola's family. That way she would have enough for all of her children. So that night I snuck out and I carried some of my wheat over to Lola's barn and I put it in there so it would be a surprise for her. Meanwhile, that same night, I was at home thinking, gee, I bet my Shabbat dinosaur brother gets lonely and bored spending Shabbat all alone. I wanted to do something kind to help him. And I know how much he loves kala, And I know he makes his kala out of wheat. So I thought it would be kind to share some of my wheat. So in the middle of the night, I took a bunch of wheat out of my barn and carried it to his barn. You know, that was really kind of you, Lola. But you see, something amazing happened the next morning when I went to my barn. I saw I had exactly the same amount of wheat as I did the night before, like it was replaced by magic. I thought, oh, this must be a miracle. God must have seen that I was giving tzedakah to my sister and rewarded me with wheat. Well, I, I thought the same thing. I didn't know that you had shared your wheat with me. I, I was so confused. Yeah, crazy. So the next week I said, well, I'm going to give tzedakah to my sister again because it was still the fair thing to do, you know? So I brought some of my wheat over to Lola's barn for her big family in the middle of the night. I took it away from mine. So anyway, I thought again about the Shabbat dinosaur being all alone. So I decided to bring some more of my wheat to his barn so he could make lots of extra challah. But the next morning, once again, I have the same amount of wheat in my barn. I, I, I couldn't understand what was happening. Did God make a miracle? I wondered the same thing. So the next week, I once again brought wheat to Lola's. But this time, as I was carrying my bushel of wheat, I saw Lola. And she was carrying a bushel of wheat, too. And I said, Lola, what are you doing? And I explained how much you love Hala and that the kind thing to do would be to share my wheat with you. Oh, 
And I explained that I thought it was fair to share my wheat since you have such a big family. <laughs> yeah, we were both giving Sadaka. We were great. But you know, Lola Dinosaur, even though I was so happy that you were so kind to me, I was kind of bummed when I found out that it wasn't God who replaced my wheat. I thought a miracle had happened. Oh, that's what I thought too. But Shabbat Dinosaur, don't you see? When we do a mitzvah, like giving tzedakah, we are helping God. We're helping God by helping each other. That's how we make amazing things happen, even miracles. Whoa, you're right. God can't do it all for us. We have to make sure that the world is fair and kind. We have to do it. Yes, I sure wish everyone felt that way. That would be a real miracle. What do you think, kids? <laughs>